Hi guys, hope you're well. So as you may have seen in the last 24 hours or so, there has been a viral video going around, primarily because Donald Trump Jr. I think retweeted it, and also the president's been talking about it, whereby a group of clinicians have basically said, don't worry about coronavirus, there's already a cure for it, and we think hydroxychloroquine is that cure. So if you feel like you're having deja vu, it's because you are. Um, I will emphatically say that hydroxychloroquine does not cure or prevent you getting coronavirus. It's really important to note. There have been multi-centre studies done in various countries that have showed a lack of efficacy or effect of hydroxychloroquine for patients, and it's also showed a range of serious side effects, which I think is incredibly important to note. So, hydroxychloroquine is an anti-malarial. A similar logic would be to use an antibiotic uh, to treat a virus. They, they, so it's very un, it's not surprising that it's an unsuccessful drug. Uh, I, I just kind of want to break down why it's really important to analyze the people in these sorts of videos and these sorts of sources that you see on social media. So one of the doctors in the video is called Dr. Stella Emanuela. I think she's a pediatrician who practices in the state of Texas. But some of her views are startling to say the least and make me think how did you get your medical license in the first place so before we start looking into some of the medical claims she's made it's important to note that she is a very avid preacher and many of the things she, she preaches I would consider to be hate speech so one example when she gave a sermon I think in either 2013 or 2015 it's basically put forward the idea that the, the Illuminati have basically devised a plot utilizing gay marriage and abortion to destroy the world. This woman is actively homophobic and transphobic and she doesn't hide that point. So immediately not the <laughs> nicest person in the world. Obviously that doesn't discredit her medical opinions as such, but some of her other claims do. So I'm just gonna put this in perspective. So she has basically said that many gynecological problems that may arise such as cysts for example can manifest because the the woman may have sex with witches or demons in their dreams she she's a doctor she's a, she's a practicing doctor she said that in addition to this which is even more crazy she's also put forward the idea that scientists have found the gene so yeah the gene to make you religious and that scientists are planning on vaccinating people against this so you cannot become religious. So people are sharing this like globally, the, her opinions of science. And it is like, it's, it's maddening to me that th this is actually a thing, you know? So look, when Facebook took the video down, I think Twitter did the same thing. Um, and then after that, she's basically posted like a tweet saying that God, God is going to destroy your servers. You can't deal with the wrath of God. Look, I'm not a religious person. Um, I'm not going to shoot on religion here, but are, you, are people believing this woman? She clearly thinks she thinks you can vaccinate against religion. Um, oh, man, look, it's just I just want to emphasize the importance of researching people when they come through your feed. You know, like I could, you know, I can put a lab coat on anybody. Doesn't mean that they're providing information that's, that, that's correct. She's basically gone out and said in her clinic that she's uh, treated loads of different coronavirus cases uh, with hydroxychloroquine and it's worked. Okay, where's your evidence? Provide me with studies and facts and data. Don't just say it. You know, I can say that I can fly. You know, I can say that, you know, I can touch people with my finger and they'll die. Where's the evidence of that? Just saying shit don't mean it's, it's true. Um, and it's really important that we all kind of keep an eye on that in terms of like, social media. Social media right now is toxic as hell. And there's so much misinformation going around. And this is a big one. And I think it's important to know who she is and some of the other people as well. Like, feel free to do digging on the others. She is no way alone in this in terms of her crazy conspiracies. Um, I think the Daily Beast have basically done an expose on her with links to her sermons and stuff, saying the stuff 
that she believes. She also said that, uh, what was it, I think, she thinks uh, alien DNA is used for medicines and to treat people. She's a practitioner. She's a doctor. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. So, just be careful of the sources you use. Just because someone's a doctor doesn't mean they're reliable. Look at Andrew Wakefield. Andrew Wakefield was the doctor who basically said that vaccines cause autism when there is no evidence that they do. And it was shown that he had massive conflicts of interest. And then he's medical license was reprimanded and he's never been able to pra practice medicine since because he's a disgrace to medicine and this woman is basically going along those lines because she's just spitting so much crap basically so yeah that's my thoughts on it feel free to disagree with me and you know uh that's the that's the great thing about science is you can disagree with uh, people's opinions, but you can't disagree with science. The only thing that refutes science is better science, not an opinion. Uh, and that's what's so great about it. Uh, you know, I, you know, people, for example, people can debate gravity all day as a scientific fact. You know, it doesn't matter if you believe in it or not. So, same premise here. Okay, so that's my stint on it. Uh, I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well, regardless. I mean, feel free to watch the video, man. It's. Oh, it's bizarre. It is absolutely bizarre. Of course, Trump is going to support this. He's been sitting on the bandwagon for hydroxychloroquine ever since, well, he thought there might be something going with it. And he, when does he ever admit he's wrong? Oh, uh, never. So, of course, he's going to ride the coattails of this. So, just, yeah, just watch out. Look after yourselves. Stay safe. Be vigilant. Do the research. And uh, I'll speak to you soon.